Mobile phones are inevitable parts of our lives. We use them to navigate around, play games, watch videos and they enable us to be connected to the rest of the world 24 into 7. With mobile phones, we have the entire world on our fingertips. But how did everything roll out this way? In this episode, let's go back in time and take a look at the history of mobile phones. On 3rd April 1975, this genius from Motorola presented the Dynatech in New York to the world. Dynatech was world's first handheld cellular device with a battery life of 30 minutes. With this brand new cellular phone, we were able to make phone calls from anywhere or even order a pizza just like this. And you can use your cellular phone to order me a pizza. Yes, hello. I'd like to order a large pizza with mushrooms, anchovies, and the hottest peppers you can find. New and improved versions of mobile phones showed up each year in a market which was dominated by Motorola. The market dominance of Motorola came to an end as Nokia introduced this cool phone in 1992. It was the first mass-produced mobile phone which supported 2G. From then it was Nokia to rule the world of mobile phones. Nokia had then introduced many best-selling mobile phones like Nokia 5110 with the legendary Snake game. Oh, the Nokia 3310 with emojis. This video won't be complete if I don't mention the world's first smartphone, the IBM Simon Personal Communicator, which was developed by IBM and manufactured by Mitsubishi. It was released in 1994 with a touchscreen display. IBM with this new transistor was able to introduce some cool new features like sending fax, emails, or cellular pages in addition to making phone calls. This phone had also supported applications like address books, calculator, calendar, a world clock or even a notepad. In the early 2000s, there was a huge battle between Motorola and Samsung to gain the market share of Nokia, but none of them had any chance. Nokia kept on adding new cool features like adding a built-in camera, a brand new operating system, etc. In 2003, Nokia gained a market share of 90% by introducing the best seller ever, Nokia 110. This ultimate dominance of Motorola will not last forever. Fast forward to 2007. A new set of standards for mobile phones were introduced by Apple and Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs introduced a new cellular phone with full screen display, a new OS, and apps to access the internet. The revolutionary iPhone. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. From then, almost every smartphone followed the designs proposed by Apple. From 2010, our market was flooded with new and innovative smartphones. Now, phones are becoming more and more powerful, processing images and videos. Let's wait and see how much the mobile phones will evolve further. Ciao.